The first time I heard in concert Schumann's first symphony, Spring, was actually in the middle of winter. And it was in Montreal. And I was, of course, very young and struck by one thing, the use of triangle. It's so unusual in repertoire of that time, I discovered later. I mean, Brahms did it eventually in his fourth symphony, but it's an instrument which, of course, adds a lot of brilliance, but adds also um, something magical about it. And Schumann's first symphony is obviously a very happy work. It's a work of a man who was in full possession of uh, his powers and was very optimistic for a rare time in his life. And this is what we can hear through the B-flat major. There's even the slow movement, which is in E-flat major, is more a romance that one can imagine in the cooler nights of spring, when it's early spring and you still need a blanket or a fireplace uh, at night to make sure you stay warm. Uh, this is this movement. There's the feeling of the dance and of the virtuosity. It's actually a great display of the talent of our orchestra, also because the string writing is extremely rich and complex, uh, virtuosic as well. And I had the pleasure to record it recently with the Chamber Orchestra of Europe, so a smaller string section, and we could hear the clarity of the orchestration about, of it. And it's the first Schumann symphony I will do with the Philadelphia Orchestra, and I intend, of course, to use the rich sound of the orchestra without sacrificing on the clarity of the counterpoint, which is informed by smaller sections. So I'm really excited to see what that blend will create and will become a very personal offering.